right. So we are talking about living in McAllen, Texas, the pros and the cons of living in McAllen, Texas, down there at the South Pole border of Texas, right on the Mexico border, right at the very tip. The land meets the water. Very tipping point. This is the pros and cons list. So if you've been thinking about moving to McAllen, Texas, or the Rio Grande Valley, this video is for you today so you can learn everything there is to know about McAllen, Texas. The first item is going to be the proximity to the ocean and SpaceX, Starbase. It was pretty awesome. We got to drive by Starbase. We didn't know what we were going to see. Drove in there, parked by, was able to look at the, the spaceships, the starships, and it, it was pretty incredible. It's pretty cool to see that. I've seen it in a museum in, in Houston at the Space Museum for NASA. That, those are cool. But these ones are like about to go. These ones are about to launch. They had these huge storage facilities, spaces for these uh, uh, starships. They had about a dozen of them in there, tucked away in the buildings and then a few outside. And it was pretty cool. It would be a great place to go see a launch or two. And so then you also have the proximity to the ocean. So you are from McAllen to South Padre Island, getting on the beach, getting some deep sea fishing. You're an hour, hour and 10 minutes away, depending on traffic. It is a quick drive. It is a beautiful drive. You go over some uh, some flatlands and then you just start hitting the uh, inlets. Uh, you come to Port Isabel, then you come to South Padre Island where they have spectacular beaches. They are actually rated the number one beach in all of Texas. This is the cleanest beach. That we, we walked on it, did not see a spot of trash. It was very free of debris and everything else. It was a very clean, great sand. This is a spectacular sand for, you know, if you want to bury somebody playing around, uh, just bury them up to their neck or whatever. Sand castles, this was really good sand for all this. Great beach volleyball sand. It was hot, it was windy. It was about, when we went there, it was mid-July and it was uh, 95 degrees breezy it was beautiful out we did not come prepared to get into the water but the water felt great uh, when we just stuck our feet in it the proximity to the ocean and starbase is pretty spectacular for McAllen Texas but on the flip side of being the proximity to the ocean is the heat you are in South Texas you're close to the border of Mexico you are getting 100 to 110 degrees during the peak of summer uh, during the winter you're getting down to the 80s, down to maybe the 70s. So it gets, there's a big guy, dichotomy of weather swing. It, it gets hot there. It gets really warm. Uh, the humidity is more than I would like. I'm from Pacific Northwest, Washington, Como Puyallup area. There's not a lot of humidity there, but in McAllen, Texas, there's a good amount. You do get a strong breeze. You do get a nice cooling breeze, especially if you're standing in the shade. It's tolerable. You could sit outside. You could uh, um, enjoy the, the weather in the evening. But once the sun goes down and the, the breeze starts kicking in and the shade is there, it is quite nice to sit outside and just enjoy the view, the sunset, whatever's going on. It's a beautiful place to be outdoors. Pro number two, Texas does not have a state income tax, but they do have property value taxes. So no state income tax. If you're moving from California where you can get peaked out at like 13%, or Washington or Colorado where you do have these state income taxes that are killing you this is gonna be a big switch for you uh, you're gonna save a bunch of money especially if you can work remote and you can buy down here uh, it is extraordinarily the values we're gonna get to that a little bit later but the values are astounding what you can get for 200 300 400 thousand dollars uh, what you can buy for seven hundred thousand dollars i mean you can buy a freaking mansion down here but we'll get to that a little bit later so the pros of taxes is yeah there's no state income tax but the the property value property taxes are a little bit higher you know i've lived in arkansas i've lived in washington and arkansas when i was really paying attention to it was at 0.7 to 0.8 percent of your property value and that's how much you were taxed per year so that's pretty low but compared to texas you're down in McAllen and Rio Grande Valley there, you are at 0.2 to 0.3%, uh, somewhere in that range, depending on the counties, the city and all that. Look it up, uh, we got some links in the description below. So the values, the property value, so if you buy a really expensive property, you're gonna have a little bit higher um, taxes than maybe what you're used to. However, on the flip side, when you do the math, what you're saving on income tax, we had a family move from California, worked for the same company, just working remote, and he moved and he, they had to drop his pay by $40,000 a year. That's almost $4,000 a month. 
But because of the state income tax going away, poof, gone, he is now making almost $1,500 a month more take home than he was before. That's a huge difference. That's do your math for your income and state income tax and then remove that from the cat, the line item, and then I'd be interested to see. So post in the comments below, tell me what your state income tax is there, what you would be saving if you move to a state that has no state income tax. So let's calculate that. All right, the third pro is birds. So if you are into birding, if you are into watching the migratory patterns of all these different kinds of birds, McAllen and the Rio Grande Valley is a beautiful place to do that. They have bird sanctuaries, they have bird wildlife uh, reserves. So this is a beautiful place where you can you can capture a lot of uh, images or just sightseeing of birds coming down to migratory and they will stay there and some are passing through some are staying right there however when you are during the winter months and they are migrating to south and texas if you find a parking spot and it's up front right near the door of the the restaurant or the store you're going to and you're like oh my gosh it's even in the shade underneath the tree don't park there because you will come out and your car will be completely covered in bird waste uh, bird poop. They live in the trees. The, the power lines are covered. It is to the point where it for two or three months, uh, you don't walk underneath power lines. You don't walk underneath trees because there's a risk. There's a danger of there and getting a mess. And so be mindful of that. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it's the reality. If you go eat dinner and come back out and you parked underneath a tree, you're probably going to have a dozen or more car wash. Don't worry, there's plenty of car washes, just like everywhere else in, in this nation. Car washes are popping up. What is with, with that anyway? But there's a bunch of car washes popping up in McAllen and Rio Grande area. So go get a car wash, get it wiped off, but park under the trees with caution. Pro number four is McAllen, Texas is home to the Trace Lagos neighborhood and development this is a 25 year project this is seven years into it they've already built 900 plus homes they have 20 something plus miles of walking and biking trails they've got three lakes as per the name they have shopping centers they have texas a m campus there they have their own schools there they're going to have their own restaurants they're going to have their own grocery stores this is a whole everything you need is in this community high-speed internet, food, restaurants, groceries. You're gonna have medical facilities. You're gonna have proximity to the airport. You're gonna be like 25 to 40 minutes away from the airport, depending on the time of day and traffic and all that. So this is gonna be a fully involved, I think it's about 600 acres of land that they're using for this. And it's gonna have a whole commercial zone. It's gonna have, uh, there's, it's creating a lot of jobs, creating a lot of opportunities. And when they're done, there will be close to 6,000 houses in there. So they're not even one sixth of the way done. And they're only at 900 homes. So there's plenty of time. There's plenty of room. They're building out. They're filling in all the areas. So if you are interested in something like Trace Lagos or Trace Lagos itself, be sure to reach out to us. Rhonda and I will help you out. She is our gal in McAllen, Texas. She knows the ins and outs. So if you are interested, be sure to call, text, email, schedule a Zoom call, send us a, a pigeon, send us a smoke signal, whatever you got. We love to hear your story and hear what you have, uh, what you're looking for and how we can best serve and navigating a relocation to this area because Trace Lagos is something to look at. It is a unique facility. It is a unique property and there, there's expansion. There's future projects like Trace Lagos coming to the Rio Grande Valley and you got to stay in tune. That's why you got to subscribe, like all the comments, do all the YouTube buttons. You know what to do. You know why to do them. That's why you got to stay connected with us so that we can keep you in touch of what's going on in the Rio Grande Valley and you can get the best value, the best home at the best value in the greatest neighborhoods like Trace Lagos. I can't talk about it enough. They got their own park. They have their own huge pool facility. Idea School is right there. If you don't know about Idea Schools, we're going to do another video on that later. But their kids, they have like a 100% track record of their students getting into college and succeeding in college. It's, it's amazing. Uh, they have an astounding track record. And then you got Texas A&M right there. You've got an amphitheater where they put on plays and, and other things in the neighborhood. They've got 
Everything you need is going to be self-included into that Trace Lagos. However, the con of living in McAllen, Texas is going to be low new inventory. There's a shortage of inventory right now as I'm recording this in 2023 across the nation of new construction homes, largely due to millennials are entering into the buying market. And it's the largest generation in history. And so there's a shortage of homes. 2008 builders got wiped out and they got a little, a little apprehensive and nervous. And so we didn't build enough houses in 2010 to 2019. And we're starting to pick up the building pace and building a lot more so we can meet the demand of the largest generation in the world's history, millennials. So that's kind of why the market is the way it is. So there is a low inventory of neighborhoods and new construction in McAllen area, the Rio Grande area. There's pocket neighborhoods everywhere. Uh, some of them are built to spec, some of them are built to custom, some of them are semi-custom, and this is why you got to reach out to Rhonda so that she can get you connected with the right neighborhood. Maybe Trace Lagos is in for you, maybe you need to be a little closer to the city center or the airport, whatever it may be. Uh, she can get you in tune with where they're building. They're, we drove past other places where there was 80 to 50 to 100 lots still available um, all over McAllen. And they're not necessarily advertised on, on Zillow. Uh, they're, they're just waiting for the buyer to come find them. Um, I don't know what they're, what's wrong with their advertising, but we want to connect you with them so that you can pick your house, pick your floor plan, pick where you want to live, whether that's Los Lagos, Trace Lagos, or a little pocket neighborhood closer to maybe the shopping center. So that's one negative about Trace Lagos is you are about 15 to 20 minutes drive from a major shopping center where you're going to get clothing and, and all the accessory items that you might need. Yeah, Trace Lagos doesn't have a grocery store yet, but it's coming within the next few years. It doesn't have uh, some of the restaurants yet, but it's coming very, very soon. So that's one of the cons about living in McAllen, Texas. Pro number five is going to be airports. So there's three airports within an hour driving of McAllen. There's McAllen, there's Harlingen, there's Brownsville. Uh, these are all very small airports. So you can get in, get dropped off, be insecure, be through security in under five minutes. It was incredibly quick. Uh, there are like seven gates so you're not getting lost in this in this uh airport you're not rushing to from gate to gate you're train i doubt people transfer through there this seems like a final destination kind of airport when you fly in and out of there it's super quick there's no traffic there's it's easy to rent a car it's easy to get on the road we were in and out within 20 minutes um when we were dropping off our rental car when we were flying in uh it was very very quick the con to that is there's smaller airports these are going to be, there's going to be limited destinations at this place, these airports fly to. Yeah, you get Delta, you get um, United and American Airlines, but you also get some like Avello and a few other local brands of airlines, uh, smaller brands. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of it. I can't think of it right now, what they call them. But the, the airline, they go to a limited number of places. So that's one thing you got to calculate. Look at where they fly to. You're always going to be bouncing out of Dallas or Houston, or uh, maybe it has a direct flight to LA or Phoenix or something like that. Find out where those are. Do your research before you get here. And that way you can really understand the pros and cons of flying out of a really small airport. If you're used to LAX or Dallas or huge one like Phoenix or Chicago, oh my gosh, this will be a game changer for you because you'll be in and out in under 20 minutes. Um, you'll be to your gate super quick. Security's real a breeze, especially if you have TSA pre-check, which I need to go get. But anyways, my point is it's super quick. Do your research, check on where the, those airports fly to. That way you can really calculate the, uh, the pros and cons of living in, in McAllen, Texas and flying in and out of those airports. Pro number six about living in McAllen, Texas allergy season growing up in pacific northwest and living in northwest arkansas there's a lot of pollen there's a lot of allergy season with that it's historically a red state yeah there's some blue areas maybe austin or houston maybe around the bigger cities that historically go blue in those smaller in the big cities in the inner cities and so you do the research you understand what you're getting into that way you can be fully informed and you cannot come here and impose what you think is right 
and what you think should happen to Texas, but you should really come and understand what Texans are like, what they think like, what they really care about. They're looking for values of their families, having a great environment, having great schools, having a safe area. That's what it's like in McAllen, Texas. This is a top rated schools, and we're gonna do a video on that. Um, this is a very safe area to live, very low crime rate, below the national average actually. And we're gonna do another video on that as well. So we've got a lot of videos in the works. Uh, be sure to comment to us to let us know what you wanna hear from, what topic you wanna hear about, and we'll see about getting that into the works. So red state, blue state, blue cities, red cities, whatever, it doesn't matter. Do your research, ask us some questions. We'd love to connect with you and fill you in with what we know and what we've experienced about McAllen, Texas. Pro number eight. This is Texas after all, so it's hunting, fishing, and gun. So we love our guns in America and we love our guns, especially in Texas. So this is, um, if this is a pro for you great if this is a con for you maybe this isn't your area maybe not let's do it let's ask a few questions so for hunting it is just farmland when you get outside of mccallan texas it's just farmland it's windmills cotton citrus trees grapefruits oranges whatever they're growing it is just farmland and farmland and farmland as far as i can see for like three hours until you get to san, san antonio there are deer that run wild through there they're landowners and get a hunting permit uh, and do some hunting there, some great hunting. And then fishing. Man, you've got deep sea fishing. You got a few smaller lakes and you got Rio Grande, two hours west. So there's a big lake uh, that's dammed up on the Rio Grande and you can do some fishing up there. But if you want to do some ocean fishing, deep sea fishing, man, is that going to be fun? So you can, within an hour of driving McAllen, Texas, you are on the ocean, you're getting on a boat, you're, you're chartering a boat out into the deep sea where you can catch a whole bunch of different variety of stuff. Uh, more than I would know because I've not gone yet, but the opportunity is there. So that means you get fresh seafood. That means you get fresh shrimp. Man, we drove by a uh, inlet and there was just like, like, what are all these like things coming off these? It was, what are those like miniature cranes? And then we got closer and it was all the shrimp boats with their their booms. I don't know what they're called. Educate me if you know what they are. So all these shrimp boats there and it's like fresh shrimp. You could buy it by the pound. Uh, all the restaurants there were, you know, serving blackened shrimp, boiled shrimp, you know, uh, just like Forrest Gump. You know, you can boil it, you can fry it, you can all these different options. Anyways, great seafood, great options for fishing. Uh, they've got, don't worry, they've got a Bass Pro Shop there. You can get a boat, you can get some fishing gear, you can get what you need so you can go enjoy and catch some good food. Number nine. So I'm gonna start with the con first. Callan, Texas, the Rio Grande Valley. It's pretty far down here. Yeah, it's an hour flight to Dallas. It's a six hour drive to Houston, Galveston, three hour drive to San Antonio, but it's pretty far down here. Uh, you're at the border of Texas. So that's kind of a frustration. You're not close to a whole lot of stuff. However, property values. I've got to talk to you about this. This is the best pro out of the whole list is the property values here. You can get a, if you're looking for a brand new three bedroom, two bath starter home that you can find one for like 250. And that's a brand new house. If you're looking for something much bigger, you know, four bedroom, maybe 3000 square feet, you're in the 400 or below range. You can even find that in the 300 range, uh, depending on where you're looking in McAllen or the Rio Grande area. Uh, so the property values down here are incredible. Some of the top houses in, you know, Trace Lagos is, you can go all the way up to the multi-million, but in the average home size, uh, we were touring a, a four bedroom model home. We got to meet Chris and, and uh, tour a four bedroom model home. And that was starting at just at $400,000 uh, for a, I think it was like 2,600 square feet. This place was awesome i love the little patio in the middle of the house outside you got a fireplace uh, then it's just tall ceilings big spaces um, really comfortable quiet inside beautiful homes the property values here in mccallan texas and rio grande area is incredible something worth checking out this is why you got to reach out to us so we can connect you with the right area trace lagos los lagos downtown mccallan sherryland wherever it may be um, you are going to find a really good option for you and your family that's going to be a really nice house in a great neighborhood, close to whatever you need and your lifestyle. So be sure to reach out to us. We'd love to hear your story and get you connected with the right area. If you want to get to know McAllen, Texas via a map, 
check out the map tour video that Rhonda does right here. Everything you need to know about living in McAllen, Texas.